The reason why a real man would ignore a westernized woman is the exact reason why a healthy person would ignore a malignant narcissist. Westernized women's tendencies are highly narcissistic and damaging to anyone close to them. Therefore many real men and I'm not speaking of the red pill obsessed type males with their effeminate high value man rhetoric and thug blaming. I'm saying of healthy men who follow God's laws and have morals will choose to ignore and keep their distance from women as a result of dysfunctional, problematic female behavior which has been normalized by a dysfunctional society that brings stress and difficulty to a relationship. High value men consider girls or women to be treated the same way you treat a man. You respect those who deserve it. He listens to all whether it's a girl or boy. But at the end of the day, he introspects before accepting those ideas. He's not too fragile to be defensive whenever criticized. This is because he understands others to their core. His values are not based on validation and he is never insecure to let other know his boundaries. He understands that when someone crosses his boundary, it portrays him as submissive not only to that particular person but to all who witness that. Finally, he doesn't need to act around anyone. I spent most of my life surrounded by men that are pretty good with women. Regardless of that, in my early 20s, I still struggled with women a lot. However, as I grew older I looked at what they did, and the way they behave around women and this is what I learned. 1. Sexual confidence. These men are extremely sexual about the way they behave and in everything they do. They are stupidly obvious about their sexual interest in women. They certainly don't try to hide like a lot of men do. They see a girl they like and make their interest clear to them. Initially, through eye contact and the way they look at her, then by the way they interact with them. They invite women out and don't waste time trying to be their friends. On contrary, men who struggle with women tend to be friends with women. For months or sometimes years, they ask her out when the sexual attraction is already dead gone. They have their unique way of dressing that makes them stand out of the crowd but also enhances their most attractive parts, normally their chest, etc. Seriously out of everything sexual confidence is one of the most important parts. 2. Mindset. They believe they are attractive and that women desire them. I also know a lot of men who aren't good with women and their mindset is terrible. They think so poorly about themselves and also about women. 3. Approach women. My closest buddy hooks up with girls simply by using Instagram. In my case, I don't like meeting women online and I prefer either to approach girls or simply to talk to women I see in the gym or in other venues I frequent. On the other hand, men who don't do well with women rarely approach them either in real life or online. I know men who haven't ever approached or asked out a single girl. No wonder, their results are so horrible. The fact is everything is connected. If you start being more active about approaching women, of course, initially, it will be hard and you'll fail. However, after a while, you will start improving your self-esteem level. As you start getting more and more results with women, you also begin to change all the rest. You start dressing sexier, taking better care of your health, grooming, etc. You start feeling more relaxed around women, etc. You should avoid listening to women's advice. Not all women provide bad advice, however, most do. The fact is they base their opinion on their perspective about dating or their unique preferences for men. Women know about being women and therefore, attracting men. Their main aim is not to attract women, only if they are lesbians. The fact is women have the luxury of sitting still and having men approach them. As a man you don't have that luxury at least in the beginning. Things tend to change as you get more experienced. If you want to listen to good advice then ask the opinion of men that seem cool and positive, and that do well with women. Initially, you have to go out there to the jungle and hunt. As your skills with women begin to improve also more and more women will want to be with you. It may get to a point where they are the ones that start inviting you out. However, until then you have to be most active. So if you want to become better with women you must be active. You can't simply sit and wait, or go on with your life like it didn't matter because it doesn't work that way. Or better, wait for the perfect girl to appear in your life. Oh, gosh, that is such poor advice it even makes my balls shiver hee hee. Once again you are a man. I must remind you that you are a man. You can't follow the same strategies that women apply to their dating life. Because, women will rarely ever approach you. Women will often not even start a conversation with you for example if you are in the same classes as them. Often women are shy and expect men to do the first move. Therefore, you can frequent gyms, nightclubs, parties, you name it and if you aren't a bit bold you will still struggle a lot with women. I can guarantee you this. I used to follow the same strategy. Just going on with my life and the results spoke for themselves. I was leaving the nightclubs or other venues night after night alone because I wasn't bold. Besides, being a bit bold is simply saying hi to a girl. A simple hi can go a very long way. I was also going to the gym and very few women ever spoke to me. So this approach doesn't work. You are a man and part of being a man is making shit happen in your life. 
You don't wait for things to come to you. Instead, you go out there and get what you want. If you want to talk to a girl then do it. If you want to ask a girl out then do it. If you want to go out on a date with a girl then do it. Waiting and being passive is for the suckers. It doesn't work and it won't ever work. The results speak for themselves and me the results are the name of the game. It is the path that will lead you to many years of constant frustration and struggle with women of hoping for better days. Days that will never come until you decide to make things happen in your life. Being passive is the way of the woman but it is not the way of the man. Go out there and get what you want and you will see that this approach will get you a lot more results with women.